Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude for 8-3-2016. I got my comic books from Midtown Comics, and I'm going to show you those right now. I saw Suicide, Suicide Squad yesterday. It was awesome. You got to go see it. All the characters, the way they wrote them and everything, put them all together. Awesome story. So now we're going to look at the comic books. Here we go. Here's the first one. This is, looks really good. I opened this up and looked at it. The artwork looks really good. Evil Heroes. This is number one. I didn't. Went, I wanted to get the Superman cover type superhero uh, cover, but I couldn't get that one because uh, it was all sold out. But this one looks really cool too. It's like a Wonder Woman type character, but they're evil. So just so you know. But it looks good. So if you have, if you can't pick that up, or if you can pick that up, pick this one up. It looks like it might be pretty interesting. So it looked intriguing. So it intrigued me. So I said, let me pick this up. But that's number one of six, supposed to be six of them. So that's one of the covers. If you've looked online and you see them, they got a Superman cover and they got another character, like an Egyptian character. And I think they might have the Aquaman type character, but it looks like Merman or something. But that's that. That's number one. And look at these all the independents. This is faster than light. This is good so far. I've been re I bought the trade paper back, like I think it's one through five or one through six. And I have to finish reading that just to catch up. But I've been c collecting these because I it looked interesting. Like I said, this was intriguing too. So I said I picked this up. Kind of like an aliens out in space and stuff. So humans out in space. So I like stuff like that. So this is number nine. Awesome cover. There you can see that. And next one. This looked cool. It was in that image book. Those image books that they put with the um, um, previews. And I read that, so it looked really good. So Ed Brubaker's a good writer. So I picked this one up. This is number one. So I'm not sure what this is going to be, what how this is going to take off or do, but um, you should always try number ones to see what uh, I think about them. If I don't like them, I won't get any more. But this looks like it's going to be good and interesting. That's number one. Kill or be killed. And Paper Girls number eight. This is good. I love this. This is, um, this is number eight. The cover is really awesome and everything. Interesting stories. The artwork's good. Um, great. And from Image Comics. Image is putting out a lot of good books. So if you not um, look at Image Comics for different books, everything wants something a little different than just superheroes all the time, just stories. This is really good. This would be an awesome uh, movie too. But that's number eight. And this is good too. This is coming to a close. Tokyo Ghost. This is number nine. I'm not sure how many issues they're going to come up with, but this is really good. Rick Remander, he, uh, awesome, and, and um, Murphy, Sean Murphy, but awesome artwork, great stories, good panoramic stuff in there. So this is number um, nine. But okay, now we got Aquaman. I like the way this guy's drawn his um his armor. It doesn't look like scales anymore. It just almost looks like the thing. Just rocks or pebbles and stuff. Could be like coral, some type of underwater. Um, life rocks and everything like that but this is cool but he turned himself in the last book so for the, the attack on his embassy and everything but now he's going to jail and there looks like right there you can see he's breaking the chains he's kind of getting upset but we'll see this is number four I've, so far i've been liking it really good everything rebirth i've been liking um the last justice league book that, that was kind of like uh, i don't know we'll see we'll see but so far, I've been liking most of them. Batman's really good. That's number um, four. And artwork, Finch, you can't beat him. I just love what he's doing. So, uh, And guys that draw like him, girls that draw like him. I just love that style of artwork. And just, it's just an awesome cover. But that's number four, Batman. This has been good, too. Green Arrow. I've been liking that. So this is number four. So I, th I like I said, I didn't get all the 52s when they came out. But I'm picking up all of these, I think, so um, I don't miss anything. But I've been liking what they've been doing with them. So that's Green Arrow number four. And this has been good, too. Green Lanterns number four. So I like that one. And how Jordan, that was good, too. So, But the cool cover of the car and everything. Cool. Simon. Cool. And this one, I hadn't been collecting a lot of her, but um, she was awesome in Suicide Squad. you got to check out that movie. But uh, I'm going to see what they're going to do with her. And I like her in the Suicide... I got a Suicide Squad trade paperback and everything. It's like, like, kind of like what they based the movie on a little bit. So um, I thought that was cool. So this is good. I'm going to pick this up. And so I'll read this. And if, like I said, if I don't like it, I won't get it. But um, they really did Harley good in the movie and everything. Her relationship with the Joker. And 
I heard a guy say she didn't really sound like the girl off, off the, the uh, cartoon, but I thought she did when she said Puddin' and Mr. J and everything. Very good. She did a good, Margot Robbie did a really good job. Uh, Justice League. This is number two. And nice cover. Love the cover. So hopefully the um, story will be good. But that's number two of that. I, like, I love Wonder Woman. It's just, this isn't, isn't it? what's his name? Paquit. Everything, but Frank Cho, I'm not sure if he's going to be doing the Wonder Woman covers anymore for Wonder Woman, but um, he's he's close. His, his style's kind of cool, too. Really cool. Nice, thick, muscular um, female Amazon. Really cool. She looks tough. She'll be kicking you behind. Like, um, just wrestling, right? Like one of the UFC girls or something like that. Here's Nightwing, number two. So that's cool. I've been liking him too, so um, hopefully he'll continue. But just the stories him coming back with his. I didn't f read where he got his identity back, how he got, got it hidden again. So I'm kind of lost there. I have to find out what that is. And maybe somebody can tell me. But that's number two of Nightwing. And I'm picking this up Suicide Squad Rebirth, number one. So I'm going to see what they're going to do with that. I mean, like I said, the movie was awesome. So uh, I almost didn't like. Uh, Killer Croc, but after <laughs> I saw the movie, I like him. I like how they did him. I, th I wanted him to be huge, but um, he was good. So, cool. But that's number one of that one. And Superman, this has been good. Everything. I'm not sure how they're going to do the sun and everything, uh, but it's been really good. Now that the Eradicator's back now, I'm trying to figure out where they're going to go with that. I introduce all the characters from the past and everything to him and his son trying to learn how to be... Uh, powerful how to use his powers and everything but that's number four of superman unfollow i'm behind on this one but i love the covers and i i usually like to um take a chance with vertical books because they're just different than just superhero stuff so um this is number 10 of unfollow i got like i'm like maybe four issues behind i gotta already catch up but it was really good so far when i read them all but like i said i gotta catch up I'm like four issues behind but uh, that's a good, this is a good story. I like, to, like I said, just try something different on with um, the vertical books. This one and uh, like Astral City is through vertical as well. But it doesn't seem, it could go, it's different, but I don't know why he picked to go onto that heading. But uh, Astral City is awesome because Kurt Busiek is a great writer. Now on to Marvel. Invincible Iron Man. Cool. That's an awesome cover. And I love just Bendis and Diodato's artwork. And Bendis' writing and everything. So that's Invincible Iron Man number 12. And like I said, I use the digital codes in all of these all the time. Because I don't get, I don't like to um, hold the books too much. But if I have to, I do. But it, some of you, you get the covers that have the... Um, if you hold them too long, they stick. And then you pull them and you got your fingerprints on them. And you just ruin it. I don't know why the printing process or whatever paper they're using. But some some of the books, you, just ruin, you ruin them by just holding them too long. You can even... I've gotten them before where you... You pick them up and you're walking around the store and you go to take your hand off of them to um, put them down on the counter and you, you almost rip them because there's your fingers stick to them. I hate that. But um, this is cool. So hopefully, I think some of the covers aren't like that, but a lot of them are. I think they're, cha hopefully they're changing the process for what they're using. Maybe they got some complaints about it, but um, I, that's why I don't really like holding them too much, but I use the digital ones. I have to do it with the DC ones because I don't get the digital copies in those, but this I do for Marvel. But that's number 12, Invincible, Invincible Iron Man. That's good. I'm behind on this, but this is Daredevil. And I see his annual. You can see the artwork in there. Ron Lim. Ron Lim's an uh, old, um, old timer, but that's a really nice, clean cover by him. That's really cool. So... That's annual number one of Ron. I'm not sure if he's doing the artwork inside. Maybe he is. If you do the cover, usually you do the inside artwork too. I didn't get, catch that, but that's really cool. I love Daredevil's new colors, color scheme on his on his costume. Uncanny and Humans, awesome covers. I've been picking up a lot of this stuff and everything that I never really read before because I wanted to try it out and see what they're like. This is number 12 in the Civil War. Um, I've been getting the main Civil War books, but not a lot of the offshoots because there's just so many. But um, I, I had collected on Cunning and Humans, but I'm trying to stick with just a straight story instead of getting too many extra ones. Everything, but that's number 12 of Uncanny and Humans. Awesome cover. And Moon Knight. Very good. I'm behind on that, but look at that cover. That's cool. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm behind about three or four issues on this one too, but I'm going to read this. This is really good. This is Moon Knight number five, and I've always liked him. So look at just awesome covers, and the guy that does the artwork. Lemire's the writer. I see. I can't remember the guy who draws the artwork inside Smallwood. Maybe it's the second name is usually the artist, but we'll see. But it's just awesome artwork. So that's number five, and this one's good. Punisher. I've been liking this. So and I love Gary. Um, uh, Nord Dylan's artwork. I've got his first name. I hate when I do that. Names just slip in your mind sometimes. But this is really good. So parental advisory. So uh, not for kids. It says so. Be careful. But like I said, the digital codes and everything. I use those all the time. Cool. And that's number. What was that number four? This one. I love this. I've been loving this. Civil War two. Um, so Squadron Supreme, I love the um, Squadron Supreme. I don't know, it's just, I like the stories that have been doing really good. And that's an awesome cover, look at that. That's number 10. And the last one here, Uncanny X-Men. I've been liking the artwork in this too. Greg Land, he, drawing, looking at his artwork, awesome. He did the cover too, so that's number 11 of that. And look at that hand, kind of reminds you like it, a Men in Black, stuff like that. They see stuff in movies and they use it but that's number 11 of that and I also got a few magazines I, I showed last time that I got these I've been picking up these now so hopefully I'm gonna keep con continue to get these and see how they're doing because I missed my wizard magazine that I used to get and this is bleeding cool 23 it's not like wizard but a little different but it still covers a lot of things so that's bleeding cool number 23 comic con season dark horse that's what's in there let's see it's talking about Rom. Uh, cool. Different stuff in here. TV shows. Oh, they got some. They, I heard them say something about having a uh, a menu or something with um, superhero food and stuff like that. But. We'll see. There's that cute puppy dog. But, um, we'll see. Let's see how this is. And you got, um, look at this picture of this thing. This guy. Clown Thor. McDonald Thor, something like that. I don't know what that is, but that's kind of weird. But funny. People come up with some funny ideas. But, uh, and my last book here is this love this I have all the issues like when they're all huge 11 by 17 and then they reduce them down to magazine size so it's a little bit bigger than magazine so hopefully I can find like book or bags and boards for these so this is number 68 everything if you're not getting this and everything you like Jack Kirby you should pick this up this is really good it talks I don't know how they can keep coming up with more stuff to talk about but he's done so much artwork they just going to have all, all these panels and everything at comic book conventions they talk about him like crazy but jack was an awesome guy all his artwork and just how can he come up with so much stuff he just his ideas for drawing characters and um, guns and weapons it's like amazing and stuff is like you said he was before his time but that's number uh 68 and let's see if there's anything in here that's cool there's like some of his uh pictures in here and just talk about everything there's artwork and everything in here pencils and um, there's these designs and everything cool and then you got the back of the book where all the different books you can buy all the different books that they come out with tomorrow comics or tomorrow publishing is pretty good. Tomorrow's publishing, but they're really good. You go to their site and everything and check them out. But they come up with a lot of good books, talking about comic books and comic book creators and everything like that. So they, they talk about more than Jack Kirby, but um, he started off with doing Jack Kirby and the awesome stuff. But thank you very much for watching. I have a lot of reading to catch up on and everything, and just a lot of drawing to catch up on, too. So, but thank you for watching. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what you like. 
and everything. And if I, I got to do some more uh, statue unboxings and stuff like that too, once I get a few more things. But here's a few things back here that I got, like all my uh, the action figures and everything in my man cave and everything. So I'm not sure how many of them I'm gonna unbox, but I try to do do some of them and some of them I'm gonna keep uh, in their packages and everything just to decorate but this I got it going all the way around the room so and then they got my Batman guard in the room door so all right and all that's all my stuff over there just got to get it all together but okay thank you for watching you guys have a great night peace out